All right, I am here uh, today. It's uh, October 26th. And anyway, right here, as you can see, over there, where the railing was, I have all that down, and it is right over here. I have uh, it scraped and sanded, and I uh, put one coat of, if I have the, uh, blah, 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 the stain on, and one coat of finish on. And over there, I have uh, that were the uprights. I have them over here. I've got 47 of them. I scraped one off already, and uh, just to see how it was going. But anyway, coming over here, I am just starting starting to scrape the post. I'm going to finish this post. So I've been using the glass. Um, plain, regular glass, you can see it. And scraping on here. Just like so. And uh, got to put a lot of pressure on them. Not putting a lot of pressure on But anyway, that's how I've been getting the finish off. The old finish and that, uh, that works pretty darn good. And it goes pretty quickly too. I have to get the finish down here yet. But anyway, with the glass, scraping the finish off, that works pretty decent. Let's see if I can get a little, little clip of this it works. Let's see, here it goes, right there. That's easier if you can use both hands on it, but this is the way it works. You have to turn it around sometimes. And scrape it off like so. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, that's how I've been getting the finish off. And it takes a little time, but not that much time. All right. Well, it's movie time here, and as you can see right here, I've got my uh, banister or a railing here. There's the banister going downstairs. But anyway, I got the railing and it was all taken apart and I uh, refinished the um, the top part of the railing already. I refinished this here post. Looks pretty good and I put uh, right here I have a, uh, there was that uh, uh, like a 2x6 post, a double 2x6 post going into the wall and hooked on uh, and uh, attached to the, the stud, the going up stud, so that's nice and solid. And what I did right here is build like a, a sham out of a uh, uh, quarter inch um, uh, panel. It's a by post sham, I uh, attached that to uh, uh, the 2x6, uh, the post that was in there. Anyway, and then I'm working right there, I'm working on the pieces for the uh, decorative uh, stuff for the top here uh, for these uh, pieces right here going around here and what I have in my hand right here is a good segue to bring this about uh, this is um, a, a spindle one spindle from uh, uh, the, the railing there and I have uh, what I did well, I have all the spindles right here well not all of them I have most of them finished already but anyway I uh, took out the spindles and then I have uh, some glass here and this is uh, how I use the glass and I, I scraped all, uh, all of the uh, old finish off of the spindles with the glass and that worked out really well and uh, then after that I, uh, I sanded them and after I sanded them I, uh, I vacuumed them, vacuumed them, vacuumed them, and then I washed them off really good. And then uh, the next step was uh, I had to stain them, so I stained them and I uh, got that all done. I put them in racks and they dried really nicely. But uh, what I want to uh, say about this is uh, after they were stained and everything, I, I see I've got uh, I've got these uh, nails. I put these nails right in the center of uh, 
of the post here and uh, uh, and then to, uh, to put the first coat and second coat of finish so I put the first coat of finish on them and I have them steel wool polished already and ready for a second coat which I'm doing right now and I built this little device here it's got a, a notch right here it's on a 2x4 uh, clamp down uh, and it's attached to the back of this edge of the 2x4 and on, on this 2x4 here I've got another uh, piece of panel it's got a notch in and uh, anyway I use this here I had to make a jig for cutting uh, uh, I had to cut the, these, uh, the spindles down to length so I made a jig to uh, get them all the equal uh, anyway, I just made some, uh, uh, I refurbished the, uh, the jig up into uh, another jig. Uh, so what I do with the nails, I put one, uh, one in here and I put uh, the other in there. See, I've got the edges all painted. I, uh, I do the edges to two coats, the ends I should say. And then I uh, put the, uh, with the jig in, uh, put in the into jig the the spindle and uh, there I can uh, spin it around and I can put my uh, my finish coat on uh, so this is what I'm doing right now and uh, this works out pretty decent I'll start and I can't put the whole thing on while I'm holding the camera but this I use I love these um, uh, these foam brushes for doing this they are they work out super so I can't really hold uh, the material so, but this really so you can uh, tell the finish is going on nicely here but this is really really going out working out well for me and then all I have to do is spin the uh, the, the spindle on that uh, attached to nails in the jig holding it and then uh, I get uh, coat the other part here and I do that to all four sides so that works out really well but anyway I have to get back uh, to work I can't uh, uh, I can't uh, do the rest of it uh, while holding the movie camera so anyway, there's my movie, and I have one more thing. I have uh, in here. I had to fi uh, do a rack uh, to dry them, so I uh, clamped a, a piece of uh, uh, one by uh, well, anyway, whatever a three-quarter inch board that I had cut down for some to, to use over over there. I had one extra. So I clamped it to uh, uh, my uh, my step stool and brought it up high enough with some uh, with some boards on the on the ground and I just lean lean my uh, my product my uh, my spindles up against uh, the um, the board and that way the nail on the on the bottom that I have pounded into the end of the of the spindle holds it up off the floor and the nail on the other end holds it onto the to the rack so nothing touches so I can do all four sides and uh, they're standing up there in their own little place and they dry really nicely and uh, I can finish them off that way anyway that's how I've been uh, been doing this my little creative, uh, creative uh, ways to uh, put finish and paint uh, these uh, these spindles. All right, um, up here it's been almost two weeks uh, for me to take all of these spindles and scrape off all the old finish with uh, with glass. I sanded all the spindles and I stained them and I put two coats of polyurethane on them 
and I set up this little system instead of uh, well, the old way they just had the spindles right in between the railing and the bottom uh, thing but I uh, put the spindles on um, this uh, uh, top like a, a rail and a bottom rail and down there and then I'm just going to put uh, this whole unit right in between the railing and the, the bottom but I have a few things, some decorative uh, ornamentation to put on this post yet, which I have all cut up and um, all made and all stained and all finished. I'm going to put that on first thing this morning and then I'm going to go right ahead and put this uh, railing in. All right. Okay, it's video time and um, let's see, where did I leave off? I think I left off by uh, where I was uh, finishing uh, the spindles on, uh, on this railing. Well, I have the railing finished today after uh, almost two weeks of, of work. I think t two days short of two weeks after scraping all the spindles on four sides sanding them, staining them, and uh, putting two coats of polyurethane on them. Not to mention doing the uh, this post here, finishing off that post, uh, finishing off the railing, the hand railing. And uh, here is, uh, I built uh, uh, well, a sham, a plywood sham around this post here and uh, I put it, well just wrapped it around the post uh, as you can see, a plywood sham and I, uh, I actually built uh, the, uh, the molding uh, to go around it on the top and middle there and the bottom to make it uh, look like, uh, like the old one like the real old, old thing here so anyway it looks pretty successful and I am very, very, very glad that um, I am done with this because it it was a lot of work. Uh, I mean, I'm telling you, a lot of work to do. Um, and I spent all my time pretty much working on this railing. So I don't know if it uh, was worth it just uh, taking it all apart and refinishing it. Uh, it was a lot of work, but uh, um, it was something I did. And um, not only that, I may have to do, I may do the railing that uh, goes down the steps too the same way. But thankfully, uh, there aren't as many spindles in the railing going down the steps. I had 40, 47 of them to do over here. Uh, so anyway, going back. See if I can get the whole thing in here. And there it is. In just a few days, we should be getting the carpet installed. I hope in just a few days. Uh, I have the carpet all on order, and then I can um, put the uh, bifold doors up permanently. And that'll be good. And uh, this upstairs, this project will be pretty much all done. Uh, yeah, before they come out the carpet, I have to put in that um, uh, that square there of that rectangle there of uh, subfloor. I got some, but downstairs that'll be nothing. So anyway, that is where I am with the project right now. And okay, here we go. Just give one more look at the this post with my post sham on it. Yeah. Post jam.